next stage is protodiastole. It is the first stage of ventricular diastole, hence the name protodiastole. It is the smallest duration lasting for only 0.04 seconds. When the pressure in ventricle becomes less than the pressure in aorta, the blood tries to go back to the ventricle and to prevent it semilunar valves close. No other particular change occurs in this stage. Not all the blood from the ventricles is ejected during ventricular systole. There is some blood still remaining and it is called as end systolic volume. Now in next stage, ventricles start relaxation and both the mitral and semilunar valves are closed. There is no change in volume and size of the ventricle and this stage is named as isovolumetric relaxation. The atria still receives the blood and this iota here starts supplying blood to various parts of the body. In the next stage, the pressure decreases up to a point where the mitral valve opens once again and the blood which is collected in the atria moves rapidly down into ventricles. As this rapid filling is without the atrial contraction, it is called as passive. In total, it is called as passive rapid filling phase. In the next phase, the mitral valve is still open and there is slow filling of the blood into ventricle without any atrial contraction. So, this stage is called as passive slow filling phase. This is the longest phase lasting for about 0.1 seconds. It's almost about 0.2 seconds and it is also called as diastasis. Just after this, sinoatrial node again fires and starts the atrial contraction and the cycle continues and continues.